Roads lead to shopping, right? During Christmas week, some restaurants are busy too. Traffic always heavy on Route 224 through Boardman. This at the hill right there across from Boardman Park. I don't think that's bad at all. I think that's moving along nicely, only down at the bottom of the hill down there by South Avenue, where it normally congests and gets bumper to bumper. That's where you're seeing the traffic. There are five days until Christmas, and shoppers know there are late hours tonight to shop at the stores. We're going to take some advantage of that. All right, good evening. I'm Dave Sess. And I'm Alexis Walters. Now that you say that, everyone's going to run out and be on 224 and <laughs> back up traffic. No surprise, you can see more cars on the roads this time of year. But when you are out driving, it's a good idea to be extra careful with more cars on the road. First News reporter Jacob Thompson has our top story at 6. We are five days away from Christmas. With everyone heading out to get their last minute gifts, that means added traffic along Route 224 and Boardman near the shopping centers. I would say this week's an increase. It increases usually until the holiday. Um, last week it picked up, but obviously it continues to get more and more traffic. Even when this video was shot around noon, traffic was backed up. And during heavy traffic, accidents can occur. One of our big problems right now is distracted driving, um, especially with people trying to get these last minute gifts. They're busy, they have things going on, uh, and they're not necessarily paying attention to what's actually happening in front of them. Multiple departments have jurisdiction over that stretch of road. Sergeant Matthew Abbey with the Canfield Post of the Highway Patrol says accidents typically go up, but many of the accidents aren't that bad due to tight traffic. Typically, they're rear end crashes. Um, people are falling too close. Everyone's in a hurry to get where they need to be and do what they need to do. People might end up getting impatient with the increased traffic. OSP recommends a car length for every 10 miles per hour. Give it time. That's the biggest thing is give it time. Pay attention to the traffic. Don't try to beat the traffic lights. Uh, if you get in a crash, you're going to be a lot later than you would have been if you waited for the traffic. Expect the traffic to remain this way through the new year. There's still some after Christmas sales, um, it, but it does tend to go down. Uh, into January. In Boardman, Jacob Thompson, WKBN 27 First News.